And the Canadians on Inish Gay didn't <coughs> suffer from the famine. And the I survived, and they were able to take them out and set them in the sand. And potatoes thrive in the sand. People don't notice. The earliest potatoes in Ireland came from the mullet in the sand, set in the sand. And I thought this was crazy that nothing could grow on the sand until I went to Brittany and went into the glass house there and they were sending flowers to Holland. And they were growing the flowers in the sand. And they wanted, because of this, they, they could put in the nitrogen through pipes going along, computer controlled the water, which was sand was the basic ingredient kept out the worms and things that it are. So the eyes of the potato thrives if you can control the environment. And Inish Gay Island, where I've been reading about, they thrived uh, with the sand. The other thing they had was, I was interested was fish and milk from the, the cattle. That's just an aside. No? So, <laughs> <laughs> but they hadn't eyes for seeing it was for re, 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 re reproducing themselves. And uh, they were set, when I was a kid, they set the potatoes, they, when they dug up the potatoes, they put them in these, uh, I don't know the precise words, but they covered them up with straw. Pit. Pit. That was it. <laughs> and uh, this kept iron alive. And up to 1750, the population in Ireland was static. It was static. It wasn't growing at all. And once the potato crop really took off, the population took off, and an acre of potatoes could be, uh, a family could thrive on it. And in Ishke, for that very reason, they tried. In fact, they wouldn't let the people land during the famine, because they, they were bringing in typhus and uh, typhoid. <laughs> so the eyes that replaced it, the potato, were very important, and I'm finished now. Thank you. <laughs>